So welcome to Techno Day at Life. And so today I am going to be reviewing this Ace Magic Mini PC S1. And it's interesting because it has a screen on it, but also it could have one of three chips and it doesn't say on the back of the box here. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe and I will try to remember anything that I covered in the video to put a link to it in the description below. So I have actually not opened up this box yet, so why don't we do that first? So we have this outside packaging that is hard to get off. So the first thing that we'll notice here after we get this off is it's black, 16 gigs of memory, and 512 uh, hard drive. It says ROM here. Made for the USA, so we'll have a USA power supply. Now it does have this number on here, but uh, when I was looking it up online, it does not actually, nothing comes up. So the reason why I looked that up is because if we go to Amazon, we can see that there's three different versions of this. There's an N95, N97, and N100. And I'm hoping I got an N100, but we'll see if I have to take it all apart to find out if I have it or not. So let's see this way so first we have a nice uh, thing here where we so when we open it up we have a nice greeting and a code for probably the manual or something we have the mini PC manual Oop, I can't get that out power supply which is a 36 watt power supply a HDMI cable and and a stand. So in the manual it doesn't say uh, what uh, chip it has and if we take off the packaging here So on the front it just says Intel inside, another QR, or two QR codes. On the back here has the 16 gigs of memory and 512 gigabytes RAM. Oh, and on here actually you can see it says N95. So I did not strike the uh, Intel chip lottery there. Uh, if we look at it, there's a window showing your M.2 drive here and on the front here, this is where the uh, screen is. So it's a color screen that will display information if you're running Windows. And if you have Linux, I will provide a link down below to what all the specs are in case you want to write a code or write some code for it. On the top we have the power button, two USB 2, two USB 3. On the back we have a Kensington lock, uh, auxiliary, two gigabit ports, two HDMI ports, and a DC in. And then this should just pop off. Yep, so this is held on by magnets. And so then we have a ND, NDME, N, ND, NDME drive, 16 gigs of memory, just one slot for the memory, and then we have a NGFF, so for a SATA drive there. And the other side does not open. So that's pretty cool if you need to add a drive or increase the memory. Just have to figure out oh, how it goes on again. So let's do that again. So just put your fingers at the top where it says open. Oops, pops right off. Pretty nice. So now this has windows on it. Oh, there's another thing to pull off. Oh, so this sticker is actually for WhatsApp uh, customer service. We don't need that one. Oh, and this is the thing I hate. So you can't see it there. Let's see if you can see it in the overhead shot. Uh, when they use glue that doesn't come off. 
major annoyance for me. Let's see, the other ones aren't going to come off very easily. So next what I'll do is I'll plug this into a monitor and we'll get it all started up. We'll take a look at the specs and uh, look at the screen, the most important part. Oh, I forgot to show this. So even the stand is magnetic. So oh, it doesn't stay on very well though. Hmm. But it's a nice touch. Because then it's easier to see the monitor there. So Okay. So I was just looking at this. I actually had this upside down. So now when we put it on, it doesn't come off. If you put it on the opposite way, it falls off. So make sure you put it in the groove here on this side. Okay, so I have everything plugged in. So we have our keyboard, our mouse, we have Ethernet, HDMI, and the power. And then so let's press this. Okay, so we're into the BIOS and so here we can see it's an N95, 16 gigs of memory and date and time is wrong. So it has virtualization so we can do virtual machines. What's up at this top one? Efficient core information. Now if we go over to boot, what's really interesting is they have a hard drive as the first boot option and then the NVMe. So I'm wondering if when they first set these up to, they just copy over an image from a hard drive onto here? I don't know. So anyways, we're going to exit and discard changes. And let's do the first boot up. There's Windows starting up. And our screen here, it still says Ace Magic. So I, I just have to say, this is a very slow booting computer so far. So we'll see how it goes. I haven't timed it. Okay, so then we have the normal installation process. So we'll do that. Uh, so one thing about these computers, uh, sometimes they have malware installed on them. And I have read that the screen software on this is malware, but we'll check that in a second before we do too much here. So now it didn't require me to log into account, which is suspicious for Microsoft Windows. So let's do some updates and then we'll do a virus scan after that. Okay, so I did a virus scan and everything turned out, but I noticed one odd thing here. So uh, oh, I can't highlight it. On this version of Google Chrome, it says the install date is 1-8-2071. So we're going to delete that. Not that I don't trust them, it's just I uh, check and verify before you actually have something on there. Okay, so next we have the LED control. And so that is this little light right here, which you can't really see. If I turn this over, there you can see it is right there. And here, let's change it. So that's breathing. Changing colors. This one was rainbow, which was on before, and we can increase the speed. Or that's increased the brightness, and this is increasing the speed. Or you can slow it down. Uh, I like rainbow the best. Now, but still our display is not showing anything, so I think we need to go to the Ace Magic website and download that, so let's do that. So here on the Ace Magic website, we have this program. That's what we want to control the screen and lighting control. So, okay, well, let's download that. And it says we can download this. So let's click download over here. And Google Drive can't scan this for uh, viruses. Let's download it anyways. It says we can't download the file at this time. Let's try something else. 
Uh, so I guess I can't download the software for the display now, which I'm sort of sorry about. Because uh, I really wanted to test it. Um, but, so what we'll do is we'll install a version of Linux and see how we go from there. So if you do want to experiment and you like Linux, so uh, there is this web page, uh, Ace Magic S1 LED TFT Linux. So he goes all the different information you need. So if you want to modify this or make it so that the display actually displays information in Linux, he gave you the basic information so you can program it yourself. I am not a programmer, so if you do know how to program and you have one of these, uh, just let me know and I will put pin your comments with your information of your web page uh, of your program or GitHub or whatever. I'll put that as pinned as the top comment. Because it seems like everything is here and he started doing the basic information but we just need something usable for us non-programming uh, people here. One interesting thing that he says is he, if you look at, I'll, I'll pin this uh, to the my comments down below, but uh, you can put a RGB SSD in here so then you can see lights through this window. Pretty cool. So next I have a USB and I have a bunch of things on here so we're going to plug this in and restart our computer and boot from this and we're going to install some version of Linux. Uh, maybe Open Media Vaults because that would be actually be good for this. We could do it all on one SSD. Okay, so I've rebooted. I'm in the BIOS. We're going to change it to our flash drive. So basically we'll boot for our, to our USB flash drive and then install I think Ubuntu desktop actually that would be more interesting because this is so slow starting so we'll install the regular Ubuntu desktop and see how that goes okay so dual booting with Windows didn't seem to work so let's try this again and just install straight Ubuntu onto the disk Okay, so I have Ubuntu installed and I have some games installed. And one of the things I noticed actually, so you can see I turned this on its side again. And obviously the vents are not on the top or the back or the bottom here. They're on the top and the, or on the sides here. And I would have to say that there was a lot of heat coming out of here, which was not doing it. It was the bottom was getting very hot, but it's a lot less hot than it was before. So probably the best way to have this is with the vents up towards the top there. Just in my opinion. Okay, so here we are on the Ubuntu desktop and it actually seems faster than Windows desktop. I guess that's not surprising. Uh, but I put a few games on here. I don't know any of these games, so we'll see how, uh, how it works. I am not a gamer and oh so I don't know if you can tell this but it is very fuzzy so not the best computer for gaming uh, this part oh the video part was pretty fuzzy but this part is actually pretty good uh, I don't know what I'm doing here uh, but uh, at least on war game warzone 2001 looks pretty good Let's try a different game. This is Mind Test, which is a free Minecraft uh, clone, I guess. And so how you navigate is you hit the escape key and that will tell you right here the controls and you can do other things here. And it is taking a long time to load. Enough of the information, I want to get started here. Okay, and Minecraft seems to work. Imagine that. So a brief interruption with my daughter. So Minecraft, or no, Mine Test actually plays really well. And actually, there's little adventures that seems better than Minecraft. So let's check out our next one.
And this is the bomber game. Okay, so bomber game works. Ooh, this one actually looks pretty snazzy. Let's press play, single player. You want to sign in? No, single player. Oh, you have to sign in. Sign in device with device account. So again, I've never done this before, so we'll see how it goes. Easy. Do that one, whatever that is. Press punch to join. J or, let's see, J. Press bomb to overtake. Bomb is O. Press tab or anything to skip tutorial. Oh, here, let's see here. Whoa! This looks interesting, but... And Bomb Squad plays fine. I sort of like this Linux gaming. Oh. Press any key. New game, let's see what we do here. Oh, let's see. And where am I? This is it. Galactic Civil War. Hit enter. You know what I, I like about Linux games is that someone put a really a lot of time in it and you can see the love in them, you know? Okay. Oh, okay. So this is like a game where you solve questions, I'm going to guess, or solve answers. I don't actually have a sound hooked up to this, but... Um, I showed my daughter these games and she was like, definitely wants this computer now, so. Okay, I think that's it. That's it for the games, so. Okay, so basically the Ace Magic uh, S1 uh, screen, useless, because I couldn't get the driver for it. Uh, little colored light bar. I changed it in Windows, still doing the same thing now. Easy to upgrade, you just pop off the top here, or side I should say. So Ace Magic S1. So let's go over the price again. So it is $169 at this time. Uh, it is an N95 computer, so you can actually get N100 computers for less than that. But with this you're getting the uh, LED little lights here, very subtle, and a screen. So if you keep it on Windows, you can use the screen whenever the software is able to download again. On Linux, right now, there's no way to do it unless you program it yourself. Uh, I can see this for myself as a little mini server. So this would actually be a great uh, Plex server or something like that because it does have the and the NVIDIA chipset in it. Um, but my daughter really wants it to be a gaming PC because she loves the Minecraft on it. So uh, that might be what we're going to end up doing with it. So if, of course, I don't use it first. So did I give you a lot of information in this video? Not really, because I couldn't get things to work. Uh, it's an N95 chipset. There's better chipsets. If you can get it at a good deal and you want a, a screen on it, then go for it. If you don't need the screen, probably get one of their other ones that are cheaper and get an N100 is what I suggest. So that's it for today. Hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye-bye.